Hello everyone, thanks for joining in. Today I want to talk to you about dodge functions and how to adjust the breakpoints to add more resolution. To demonstrate this, I'm going to take a 2005 stock Dodge Neon SRT4 injector rescale function. In the left hand column, we have microseconds. In the right hand column, we have MG charge cylinder. If you notice down in the lower right, the breakpoints is 11, the max breakpoints is 15. Today I want to take the stage 2 Mopar injector data for the SRT4 and I want to apply it to my stock calibration. I've already opened up two calibrations, one for the stock SRT4 and one that's a stage 2. So we're going to flip over to the stage 2 where you'll see we already have the injector function open. If you noticed in the lower right hand corner, the number of breakpoints on this injector function is 15. So I'm going to just copy the whole table. So I select the entire function. I do a control C, which copies all the values. I flip back over to the stock SRT4. And I'm going to select that whole table without changing the breakpoints. And I'm going to do control V and I'm going to paste that injector data. We'll click away and if you look you'll notice in the microseconds it cuts off at 6000 with the MG charge cylinder at 4950. Now keep in mind again microseconds 6000 is where it cuts off. We're now going to flip back over to the stage 2 and if you look at where the 6000 cuts off everything after the 8000, 14000, 20000 but what I have selected there is where you would normally hit boost. And that's where you're going to be at your full wide open throttle. You're going to be at your full boost range. So if it clips you off at 6,000, it has no fueling beyond that other than what's in that last cell at 6,000. You cannot, without changing the breakpoints, copy the stock stage 2 injector data over to a stock calibration. So we're going to flip back over to our stock tune. We're going to change the breakpoints to 15 and you notice right away the table expands. So now if we go we flip back we select the entire function and we can come over here we can paste the entire function and now we have not only adjusted the breakpoints to add more resolution but we've correctly copied and pasted the stage 2 injector data over to a stock tune. Now with the way the NGC and newer controllers are set up is there's an inverse table as well which is the fuel mass to pulse width conversion and you're going to need to also change the breakpoints on that table and copy the injector data over. Now if you notice it's backwards so you can't just do a direct copy and paste but if you come over to the stage 2, you can copy it from there and bring it back over to the stock calibration. Again, control C, paste it, control V. All the charge values are correct. All the microsecond values are correct. And we've changed the resolution. Now, all functions, you have the ability to adjust the breakpoints if the number of breakpoints are less than the maximum. If there's 15 breakpoints and their maximum is 15, there's no more additional resolution that you can add to it. Thanks again everyone for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed our video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming videos. And if you have any questions, please visit our website at psychedecutuning.com.